Chances are that you have already seen this invention. It is a transformer used to produce high voltage, low current, high frequency alternating current electricity. To observers, it appears as if lightning is being shot into the air. A Tesla coil consists of a primary coil and a secondary coil, each with its own capacitor to store electrical energy. The two coils and capacitors are connected by a spark gap. A high voltage source powers the system. The primary coil's capacitor eventually builds up so much charge that it breaks down the air resistance in the spark gap. Then, the current flows out of the capacitor down the primary coil and creates a magnetic field. This field collapses quickly and generates an electric current in the secondary coil. The voltage zipping through the air between the two coils creates sparks in the gap and, eventually, the charge in the secondary capacitor becomes so high that it breaks free in a spectacular burst of electric current. The resulting high-frequency voltage can illuminate fluorescent bulbs several feet away with no wire connection. His invention, covered in patent number 613,809, 1898, took the form of a radio-controlled boat, a heavy, low-lying, steel craft about four feet long. The method was not limited just to boats, but included any sort of vehicles and mechanisms. What Tesla invented in 1898 with his radio-controlled boat was the birth of robotics. The first AC commutator-free three-phase induction motor was invented independently by Galileo Ferraris and Nikola Tesla. Although Ferraris presented his engine first, in 1885, it was Tesla who filed for a patent first. George Westinghouse, who was developing an alternating current power system at that time, licensed Tesla's patents in 1888. This type of motor is commonly used in vacuums, blow dryers, and power tools, even today. Before his lab burned down, Tesla discovered that he could use his coils to transmit and receive powerful radio signals, tuning them to resonate at the same frequency. By early 1895, he was ready to transmit a signal 50 miles from his lab to West Point, New York. But the fire in Tesla's lab destroyed his work. While he was rebuilding, a young Italian experimenter named Guglielmo Marconi, who was working in England, took out the first wireless telegraphy patent. When Marconi later set up long-distance demonstrations, he used a Tesla oscillator to transmit the signals across the English Channel. Tesla had intended the Tesla coil to be part of a wireless power system and was a mainstay of many of Tesla's other experiments. By running a wire connected to the resonator around his lab he permeated his lab with electromagnetic energy, and was able to light a fluorescent bulb held in his hand because the voltage drop through the air was great enough to cause a sufficient current flow. Using a magnifying transmitter, he was also reportedly able to light a field of bulbs at a distance of 1 km. The magnifying transmitter was an adaptation of the Tesla coil, only instead of discharging to the earth. The magnifying transmitter created standing waves of electrical energy, which could be harnessed by a tuned receiving circuit. Mm -hmm.